Welcome everyone. This video, this class is all about how I kicked fatigue's butt in less than a month. And that was after I had suffered for over six years. And that was naturally without any crazy chemicals, no crazy exercising or fad diets and no counting calories. You ready? Are you getting this? So, can you imagine having 10 times more energy? Let's dive into this because that's what we're going to be talking about. All right, how to kick fatigue's butt naturally without any harmful chemicals, painful exercise, or calorie counting. Too good to be true or what? Are you excited? I'm very excited. If you're excited to hear more, type yes, I'm excited. Yes, I'm excited. I need some feedback so I can keep going, interacting with the screen right here. So if you're ready, we'll get going to the next thing. Are you ready? I can wait all day, by the way. I know that there's a little bit of a lag, but keep the engagement up, please, and thank you. So let's get moving right along here. Study finds that hearing an opposing viewpoint causes no real harm. This is a joke, of course, but people online sometimes lash out at each other as if disagreeing is going to actually hurt someone. So if you don't agree with everything I say, actually, let me back up and say, you're not going to agree with a lot of this. Some of it is going to blow your mind, and some of it might even offend you. because. If this was common knowledge, I wouldn't be taking all my time to share this information. So the reason I'm putting forth so much effort to share this is because it changed my life, but I know that it offends some people because it challenges your beliefs. If we, if we already knew everything about health, then why is anyone ever sick? So obviously, we need to admit there's more to learn, and even for me, even though I've been deep into this, for myself for a couple years, there's still plenty more for me to learn. So can we agree to keep it cool and keep an open mind? Please. Okay, so disclaimer, I'm not a medical doctor. I do not claim to diagnose or cure diseases. This information has not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration and it's for information purposes only. So what I can say is that I personally practice everything that I teach, and I can guarantee that it will help you feel better if you apply it. Okay, so does that make sense? Are we all clear on this? I don't want to mislead anyone. Great, awesome. Okay, are you ready? We're gonna get into it. My goal for this is to help you understand that pH is the key to feeling better fast and for you to believe that it will work for you no matter how long you've been suffering, okay? So if you stay until the end of this class, I have a special present for you. Actually, I have more than one gift and also if you're watching this in the replay, I'm going to give one person in the replay a gift as well. So stay to the end because there's a lot of valuable info here and this is for your benefit. So um, I'm going to give you something and I'm going to announce it at the end and I'm going to give more than one. So if you stay, I'm going to also give someone an entire bottle of bio electric bio life. This is one of the things that I can't do without. So I'm going to be giving it away because why not? So stick around through all this info and then you're going to get it. So who am I anyway? <laughs> Look at that. I'm the little one. My name is Douglas Dennis. If you don't know me already, I grew up in the middle of nowhere, as you can see on a farm. Um, and... <laughs> I was a hilarious little kid, as you can tell from this picture, and I went to public school just like most people. I played soccer and did martial arts. Um, in 
college, I studied abroad in Japan, and I got to climb Mount Fuji. That's from the top of Mount Fuji. Isn't that epic? Um, I visited Tokyo, Hiroshima. I lived in Tokyo, but then when I went back, when I graduated, the economy was down. Um, oh my God, there were no jobs. So I ended up taking a business opportunity and a job offer in South Korea. So it was back to Asia. And here's where the story got kind of crazy. So I look fine in this picture. Here's me. I got a job in a big city, but I was really, I got really, really sick. And this is, I don't look sick though. And here's some info I found online. Fibromyalgia is a chronic long-term health condition, invisible illness that causes pain all over the body. So this is what I was dealing with. Um, please don't judge how someone else is dealing with pain because even though I looked fine, uh, I was feeling like garbage and I lost a couple jobs over it. Um, a lot of the population are diagnosed with um, invisible diseases over Almost 2 million people have cancer in the U.S., 30 million with diabetes, which is 9% in the U.S. That's crazy. And fibromyalgia, I didn't realize this many people were suffering 3 to 6% of the world, over 10 million in the U.S. I didn't realize that. And also, I didn't realize men could have it either. I was... It took me a long time to figure out that I what was even going on, and uh, but here is me where I lived in Seoul. Look at all those electric lines. I was I became very sensitive to electromagnetic um, pollution. I was really sick in this apartment. If you look in that one picture with the vegetable truck, that was my bedroom window. That jerk would park there at 6 a.m. every morning and start blasting out of a megaphone, announcing about his vegetables for sale. Obviously, that's why that apartment was available. <laughs> so I was getting like four or five hours of sleep, walking to work. I was totally sick. I almost died eventually in this situation. I know it shows me putting on a f smiling face, but um, I'm, I'm not gonna go into the boring things about fibromyalgia, but basically I just put on a smiling face and tried to make it through, but it was ruining my life. So I actually lost this job and I flew to an island with me and my wife had met so we went to an island and i thought you know with some fresh air with the you know countryside living supposedly island living's a little bit more laid back and relaxed um definitely the city life chewed me up and spit me out <laughs> even though i'm a black belt i can take a punch you know i can take a kick but I couldn't take this illness, unfortunately. So I feel for you if you're going through any kind of hidden pain, it's brutal. So moved to an island, thought, oh yeah, this will be great. It'll be much better. Well, here's me there. It was kind of fun for a while, but I was still sick and I was not getting better. And this went on and on and on for years. So. Oh man, long story short, I could go on about that forever. I tried all kinds of different treatments. I tried Eastern medicine, Western medicine. I tried homeopathics. I tried, you know, I always stretched and meditated. I was doing, I started doing martial arts again, but when I would do martial arts now, when I was sick, I, it was debilitating. So I was actually doing Tai Chi and Kung Fu, but um, it was brutal. I would be sore from what I would be sore for an entire week after. And then I couldn't even get out of bed. 
My wife had to drag me out of bed in the mornings and rub my feet for me to even be able to walk. I know this is, I'm not going to go into a sob story, but it was awful. And it got, it was worse too. I'm not telling you all of it because, you know, a lot of it's gross and you don't need to know every detail. But anyway, um, I had to do something because even though I, ooh, I won a gold medal, but I couldn't function in my life. I would try to, like I would have ups and downs, trying this diet, trying that diet. There's proof of me winning the gold. <laughs> um, but I tried so many different things. I tried cupping therapy, that's what that is. Did that work? I don't think so, but it, I mean, that's one of the things they try to do to increase your circulation or get the bad blood or whatever. But I tried all kinds of different stuff. I tried acupuncture. I tried gluten-free. I tried eating meat. I, try, I was vegetarian for the longest time, but I tried eating meat because someone convinced me that would make it better. It didn't. Um, I tried all kinds of different supposedly alkaline diets that, did, that were BS. But basically, my chakras were effed. To put it simply, my whole body was a wreck. And it became so bad that I had to move back home. And I had to sell my business. And I had to totally rearrange my life. So I finally started cutting out different crap that I was eating. Once I finally started honing in on what was helping and what wasn't. And, you know, most of the food I was eating when I was sick didn't even exist a hundred years ago. Cow milk? Well, I, I, I won't go too far into this now, but the types of food available aren't natural and aren't real. And they're not from the earth. They're made up. So I started finding this stuff out and I started drinking alkaline water and testing the pH and that's a pH strip. Um, that water is pH 8.1, which is anything above seven is alkaline. And I started kind of finding out, okay, this is working, something's working, but still, I mean, have you tried this kind of stuff? Haven't you? done a million things and they didn't work. I'm curious actually, comment some of the things that you tried when you, when you were sick that just didn't work at all. I tried cinnamon drinks. Well, there's something about cinnamon. I could go into that later. Um, remind me in the Q&A. But there's all kinds of fad diets that don't work. I've tried every single thing ever. So. I'm curious to know what you have been through and if this kind of thing happened to you as well. Because um, this was going on for so many years. But finally, when I went all in and shifted my the pH of everything I was doing, uh, my digestion cleared, my mood improved, my energy was up. Holy crap, this was finally working after s s years of trying stuff. So when I finally realized what was going on is I went on vacation and I did like a cheat day or whatever. Had, can you relate to that? Have you, you know, you, have you been on a diet and then you did a cheat here and there? Well, I was on this new path, this new alkaline path without any garbage and I went, I went on vacation and thought, hey, whatever, I'll just do, you know, I'll just drink or eat this or eat that. Well, this is really when it all clicked. I was on vacation. I had been feeling better finally after, like I said, miserable years and I was finally doing well. But then on vacation, I cheated or whatever you want to call it. And I started regressing back to the old way and it hit me harder. It hit me like, ugh. It, I, and I got sick on vacation. Who wants to get sick on vacation? I was 
I mean, as you can tell, I'm very passionate about this. I flipped out, basically. When I am unhappy with something in my life, I don't keep going with it. I put my foot down at some point and enough is enough. So I knew once and for all that having cheat days or whatever was ruining, was going to put me back to the point where, well, it got so, it had gotten so bad that at one point someone told me that I was going to die if I didn't change it. And I, sh even though I don't like talking about that, I have to mention it because it clicked in my head finally, like, oh, I'm not immortal or like I was in my 20s, you know, who, what kind of 20 year old guy thinks that they're going to get sick? You know what I mean? Does, th does that make sense? So we all think, oh, this is fine. It's never going to happen to us or it's going to pass, right? Do you think like that sometimes? We never think we're going to get sick or we always think we're eating pretty healthy. Well, I was eating fatty foods, drinking coffee. I mean, this is back when I was sick. Spicy food, are you kidding me? I was the spiced nut. I love spicy food. Sugary food, oh yeah. When I was working in uh, overseas, I would work all day long and have a really quick break. And in my break, I would chug coffee and milk to try to load up on calories or whatever moronic idea that I had, which calories are BS. I can talk about that later. And alcohol. Well, I also owned a bar and restaurant at one point, and there was alcohol all over the place. So even though I am not a heavy drinker. I was drinking one a day, every day, at least one or two a day. And that's every single day. And that's the only thing that was helping me feel better because nothing else worked. But finally, like I said, on the vacation, I discovered no more of any of this. Definitely not. And then once I finally felt better, what did, what would you do if you finally if you were suffering for years and years and then suddenly turned it around in 3 weeks cuz that's what ended up happening once i got back from that vacation i started um i went on that strict uh from a strict list of foods that i can share to you it's in my group one of my groups for free i can share that with you no problem make sure you join the bioelectric challenge group because that list of food is one major key that helped save my life. And then the other thing was supplementing with high pH, high mineral uh, foods. So that rocketed me to the next level and I started feeling amazing. So once I started feeling amazing, what would you do? I started sharing it with my friends and family and to see, you know, cause now that I felt great, I had plenty of energy to, blabber about it. So I started giving this to people and they had a good result too. So Emily noticed a difference within, if she forgets to take it for a couple days, then she feels tired and sluggish. Exactly what I feel too. Now she doesn't go a day without it. Monique also said it helped the inflammation from using her voice so much that she could notice the reducing of inflammation. And that was only in a week. So these, I mean, these are the type of results I started getting. And also recently, um, Ron started and within, he just started and he already lost 10 pounds. That was not even, the purpose wasn't even to lose weight, but that's just a, another added benefit. Would you be happy if you could lose weight as an added benefit of more energy. Can you imagine that? Wouldn't that be cool? Definitely. So here are the three secrets I'm going to share. First is how to feel lasting energy naturally without exercise. Are you hearing that? Secret two, how I reversed my chronic diseases in less than a month. I already touched on that a little bit. And secret three, actually save money eating healthy 
without counting calories. Does that sound true? Are you getting this? Okay, this is very exciting. So if you're excited, I want you to comment me in the comments. So I need to keep this, I need to keep the engagement up. Hi everybody, also everyone that's logged in. Thank you for watching, all the new people. So if you're excited to hear these secrets, I'm sharing this all with you for free. Give me some feedback to let me know that you're awake and that you have a pulse. <laughs> it's, it's actually challenging to talk to a screen. So your feedback definitely helps. Uh, any kind of comments are good to let me know that you're watching and that it's not boring. Awesome. Okay. Great. Thank you. So keep the comments coming in. Yeah. Great. Are you getting some value out of this? Awesome. So let's get into it. Secret one, alkaline equals energy. How to feel daily energy naturally without exercise. So alkaline is power. Energy, electricity. Think of an alkaline battery. Okay, what is an alkaline battery? It's power. You plug it in. There's no protein in a battery, right? It's electric. This is what we're made out of. Well, not exactly this, but so before you start freaking out about this, a lot of people get cognitive dissonance and get upset when their beliefs are challenged. A mental conflict occurs when beliefs are contradicted by new information. So if you're getting a twinge of a bad feeling when I say something that doesn't fit what you think already, it's cognitive dissonance. It's normal. The brain is setting an alarm going, what? What is he talking about? That's normal. Just keep an open mind and bear with me, okay? Is this making sense? Are you having some cognitive dissonance or are you just getting it all right away? Awesome. You're awake. Jabari says, I'm awake. Great video. Thank you very much for the feedback. Okay, so this is so simple that you could miss it. So what happens when the opposite of alkaline, first of all, is acid. Acid is deadly. Acid is harmful. Acid is inflammation, pain, sickness, disease. Alkalinity, like I said, is electric, power. Does that make sense? Makes sense? Okay, awesome. Good. So let's move on. Professor Arnold Eret was um, a naturopath in Germany. He said every sick person has more or less mucus, clogged system, such mucus being derived from undigested, uneliminated, unnatural food substances accumulated from childhood on. Well, hello, that's exactly what was wrong with me. This is exactly what was wrong with me. And although I kind of found out about this years ago, when it finally clicked and I was doing it myself, it started working, like I said, right away. Wondering why cancer and diabetes runs in your family? It doesn't run in your family. It's, your, it's the poor eating habits. It's that simple. I know people don't want to believe that it's that simple, but it is. So listen to Peggy. This doesn't just work for me. This is Peggy after three weeks of my coaching. Well, I feel really great. I mean, my energy's up tenfold. But the thing that is really the kicker for me is having you there to answer my questions. But then the stuff that you're sharing about the science of food um, is really hooking me in because the curiosity is so peaked that um, I want more. And so what I'm discovering is that 
old food addictions are kind of falling by the wayside. And when I say that, I mean like sugar and carbohydrates. It's amazing because those used to be my um, um, crutch. Yeah, well, crutch, but this inner dialogue of like I would go into a cycle of binge eating crap and I would justify it because I was either angry or upset. And I was like, oh, I'll start on Monday. But the more I started learning about food and how toxic it is to my body, I just kept wanting to unlayer all the toxic buildup in my system. Because I've already been on a journey of eliminating the toxicity from my mind and my environment. And so like the next best thing for me was to like get it out of my system, right? So Douglas is a rock star because he's telling me and teaching me everything I didn't know. So um, for that, I'm extremely grateful because um, I'm on a journey and I, and I want to learn more and there's more to be learned. And the fact that I'm feeling great, it's very empowering knowing that I'm the one making the decisions of what I'm putting in my mouth based on facts and solid information and it um, it's putting a literal spring in my step because it's just empowering and I feel great I feel better because I can look at what I used to eat and just turn my nose up at it because it's like I know it's not gonna do one damn thing for me so as I always say with everything else the journey continues dot 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 you know but you're probably thinking that what do I even eat then if I can't eat all the stuff that's been causing sickness, then what is there? Well, I have a list of food that's all I've been eating for the last two years, and it's gotten me amazing results, and thousands of other people results too, and I can share that group with you. It's in the Bioelectric Challenge. So it's a free group to join. You can find it. Uh, and I'll post, comment below if you haven't joined the challenge and I'll send you a link individually. So if you're watching this on the replay also, comment challenge and I will message you with a link, okay? So just comment challenge and I can send you the list of food because that's a really important thing. You're probably wondering what in the world. You're probably wondering, I have too many conditions for this to work. Well, that's not true. You might feel like that, but really everything all comes down to the pH. May, maybe multiple systems in your body are failing because that's how uh, serious it's gotten, because that's what was happening to me. First one disease, then another, and then another, and I kept feeling worse and worse. So many times people have more than one condition. It's rare that someone has just one problem because the body is connected. What about energy drinks and coffee? Well, let's, do you think energy drinks and coffee work? Or do they, or do you feel amazing from them or no? I don't think so. So energy drinks and caffeine are acid. That's the opposite of alkaline. Remember alkaline equals energy. Well, acid does not equal energy. So sugar does not give you energy. It crashes you. Energy drinks, caffeine don't give you energy. They crash you. Alkalinity gives you sustainable energy for on and on and on. It keeps going and going and going. It doesn't go up and down. Alkalinity is more important and more powerful than calories, protein, and vitamins. Why? Well, because you could be taking calories in that are acid. You could be taking vitamins in that are acid. You could be taking proteins in that are acid and they're hurting you. Or you could be having alkaline. So you can get calories from alkaline foods, which is the way to go. Make sure you reach out for that list. Did you get the challenge yet? If you haven't gotten the challenge, comment challenge and I'll make sure to send you that list. All right, is this making sense?
You getting this? So the secret to how I reversed my chronic diseases in less than a month. Okay, awesome. Chabari said, where's the alkaline? I want some, Doug. <laughs> I'll get them to you, definitely. So if you want more, just comment below and I'll send you that food list for free. And also, Shauna asked, are lemons okay? No, they're not. And I'll do a Q&A at the end too if I miss any of these. Lemons are hybrid and are acid. If you like the taste of lemons, I recommend key lime because the key limes are alkaline and regular lime, but make sure it has seeds in it. If the, if the fruit has no seeds, then it's been genetically modified and it's hybrid, so it's no good. Okay, so what you probably tried already, just like me, go to the doctor, try what he says without a result, maybe get an expensive massage and get mixed results. I've had great massages. I've had terrible massages that made me feel worse after. Has that ever happened to you where you actually felt worse after a massage the next day? Then maybe you try acupuncture and no, have, have no idea if it worked or not. Then maybe you try another doctor. Then he says something different so you tr and you get no result. Then you try a diet and maybe you get a sh temporary result. Then maybe you try to get in shape but then you get really sore. Then maybe you go to a specialist and then you have to wait and wait and wait. Then you go on another diet and try harder this time. Does this sound like you? Does this sound like what you, this is what I was doing. I would try gluten free and then I would try this and that and then you try keto and then you try something else and then the next fad diet online comes around and it's just so frustrating that you just want to end it sometimes. And it's very common for people with chronic illnesses to have suicidal thoughts because it's, it's, you get sick of all this nonsense. But there, are, there is hope and there is a better future. So what people think is difficult to change their lifestyle, but what's actually difficult is getting sick. I got fired from one of my jobs, well, more than one. I got fired from jobs for either missing work or being sick. So what's the new way? Well, this is the new way. We change it all around to raise the pH. We change it, change it all around to feel good and get more oxygen and be alkaline. No more chips, potatoes, ice cream, fast food, fried chicken, chocolate, white bread, soda, cake, cookies. Oh, this is all I was eating. <laughs> I remember on my breaks at work, I would eat chocolate and ice cream because I needed quote unquote energy, which we now know is BS because you can't get energy from acids. You can only get energy from what? Alkaline. Does this make sense? I hope you're getting all this. And you know what? We all know this stuff is unhealthy. It's just, it has to sink in scientifically for us to actually do anything about it. Did you know that you can flush your system out with watermelon? And again, about the seeds, make sure the fruit, if it's watermelon especially, has seeds. Otherwise, it's GMO and is no good. So going on a watermelon fast where you just have watermelon for three, four or five days can be a wonderful way to start this out. Flushing out your system, removing debris in the colon, which what is debris? That's that artificial junk you used to eat before you watch this video. <laughs> so there's toxins making us sick and we need to flush it out. Concord grapes, Key limes, make sure the grapes have seeds, like I keep saying, are extremely alkalizing. So this is a great way to flush out your lymphatic system. 
Step three, start switching it over from white milk to hemp milk, white sugar to date sugar, white flour to spelt flour. You can still eat the same recipes, just make it with different ingredients. That's all I do and it's awesome. I feel so much better too. I would not go back to that other crap, no way. Alkaline swap, white flour's acid. Garbanzo bean, which is chickpea, or spelt flour is alkaline. Cha-ching. Also, the next step is stop rubbing toxic stuff all over your body and in your mouth. Ingredients, preservatives and cosmetics and deodorants and shampoos and soaps are brutal, especially for women's health. There's, oh man, there are all kinds of links to cancers and links to reproductive toxicity. That's messing with human life. I haven't worn deodorant in years and I haven't brushed my teeth with your typical toothpaste in years. And I don't use the typical soap either, but I'm still clean. I still keep myself clean. I still wash my hair. I still go to the sauna almost every day. So don't be grossed out. So here's another video. I feel clean. I don't feel like I need to go take a nap afterwards. Even pasta dishes that are made with, with different pastas like spelt. Um, I don't feel you don't get overloaded. You don't get super full where you just need to just go take a nap. I feel clean. I feel good. All right, so you're probably thinking, can I just eat whatever I want and then just go to the gym and work it off? Well, let's think about this. Alkalinity. Is going to the gym alkaline or acid? Well, anyone really into exercise should know. If you know about this in the comments, comment. Hello, thank you. So what happens when you exercise is that your muscles release more lactic acid. What do you think? Is lactic acid acid or alkaline? Lactic acid. Is lactic acid acid or alkaline? <laughs> All right. So lactic acid is acid. This is the same thing that happens when you eat dairy, is that you're, it, it's lactic acid. So, so this lactic acid releasing in our body, is that going to make us feel better or worse? It makes you feel pain. It makes you feel muscle pain. It makes you feel sore. The reason you feel good from exercising is because you're breathing deeply and getting a lot of oxygen. You can breathe, breathe deeply without doing hardcore exercises. So if you are sick, I would recommend don't do any heavy exercise, anything more than just going for a walk. Going for a walk is okay, getting your body moving, but don't really put any stress and don't release any more acids than are already in there. Our point right now is flushing them out, okay? So it says, can I just eat whatever I want and then go to the gym? Well, does going to the gym turn whatever acid you ate into an alkaline in your stomach? <laughs> nope. So don't you love how rational I am about this? Is this making sense to you? Are you getting this? Comment yes if this is making sense. I want to know if I'm reaching anyone out there because really this is life-changing stuff here and your life is changing right now before our very eyes. Okay, so you're probably thinking your body buffers your pH by itself. Have you heard this? I had some people argue with me about this, but my nursing advisor told me, explain this to me very well, which makes a really good point. Your body naturally buffers your pH, but remember that slide from way back when, when I showed 
90% of the food in the store didn't exist 100 years ago? Your body doesn't know how, what you're eating. Your body has no idea what that stuff is because it's not natural. It's been man-made. It's been man-made. Wheat, corn, all that stuff. It's not original plant. Those are hybrids that humans created. So your body originally buffers your pH when all the food in nature that's alkaline when you eat it. But since all people eat anymore is fast food, bread, meat, dairy, sugar, caffeine, drugs, pills, stress, lack of sleep, all that brings your pH down, which means acid. So your body has a hard time trying to stay alkaline. This is why a lot of people gain a ton of weight because your cells are absorbing water. Your fat cells are absorbing tons of water to buffer the pH so that you don't die. I hope this is making sense to you. If this is making sense, give me a thumbs up. You're probably thinking everyone's different. This can't work for everyone. Well, as long as you're not allergic to iodine, which almost everyone, which actually this will still work for you. Just um, that's a precaution because I recommend a lot of seaweeds and stuff, but this works for everyone that has cells. So our cells need minerals. And most people in the world are deficient in minerals. And that's why all these domino effect of diseases, one after another after another, and we just keep getting sicker and sicker as a culture, as a society, because it's all clogging up and piling up. So does that make sense? Awesome. Can you imagine feeling better though? I want to keep bringing it back to feeling better. You're probably thinking you can't influence your immune system manually. Well, this has been disproven. It used to be thought that you can't tap in to your autonomic nervous system. You can tap into it manually. This has recently been proven, which means by certain techniques that I teach my clients, you can actually manually tap in to your immune system and, and heal yourself. That might blow your mind right now, but I can teach you all about that. You're probably thinking you can't change your pH with what you eat. Well, you can, but it's difficult. You have to only eat alkaline foods. You can't mix acid and alkaline. You can't eat healthy and then eat chocolate or other acids and expect to get better. So you can't it's going to ruin your pH if you eat anything acid. So you need to only eat high pH. That's the way to change it. That's the way to shift it. So the undeniable truth is that it's possible to reverse disease and feel better quickly within days or weeks naturally without hard exercise. Isn't that awesome? Are you loving this, people that don't like hard exercise? Secret three, actually save money eating healthy without counting calories. Is that possible? Absolutely. So can you save money eating healthy without counting calories? Wait a minute. Are you liking this idea? Because a lot of people think that it's too expensive. Well, this is going to blow your mind. Check out this spelt pizza I made. That's a huge extra large pizza that probably cost me. Actually, I want to ask you in the comments. Do you think this pizza or a Pizza Hut pizza cost more? Do you think this homemade spelt pizza, alkaline pizza, cost more or do you think Pizza Hut costs more? Answer in the comment. So if you think 
Pizza Hut cost more, say Pizza Hut. If you think the spelt pizza cost more, say spelt pizza. And I want to see if you can guess accurately. What do you think? A whole pizza. How much do you think this cost? And you know that the ingredients are not created equal, of course. That's a given. Okay, so you think that... Okay, it's a toss-up. So Jabari thinks that the spelt costs more, and Amy thinks the Pizza Hut costs more, but... Yeah, <laughs> now that because I set you up, you know that I'm trying to trick you. So this is not very expensive. I made this pizza for under 10 bucks. And I mean, I didn't even have to drive anywhere. Didn't, didn't even have to tip anyone and didn't even have to feel gross and sick and bloated after. Because I used to love pizza. Mmm, pizza. If you love pizza, comment. What about this mango pudding? Fresh ripe mango, coconut cream. Mmm, you can make a, several cups of super sweet, super delicious mango pudding for under $2. Ka-ching! What about alkaline cookies? Yes, you can still eat cookies. These ones are really basic, but these are my favorite. Uh, these are spelt cookies, and these take less than nine minutes to make. And they're alkaline and super cheap. Three ingredients. So what do you think? Look expensive? Amy says, I love it so much. Jabari says, pizza is my favorite food. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So let's see what some other people are saying. Ariana said, Douglas has been wonderful. He's always inspiring to hear and is extremely passionate about getting people healthy. As you can tell, I'm almost to the point of jumping up and down about it. I'm gaining momentum. I just cannot look at food the same way and then consciously put that in my body. Yes, yes, yes. That's the paradigm shift we're looking for. Here's another testimonial. Oh, wow, that's such good info. Douglas, thank you so much for going the extra mile on my behalf. Again, I will go the extra mile for your behalf. Here's another one from Zach. Douglas, Dennis helped me clarify my vision for, the for my life and gave me confidence to pursue goals I never thought possible. This is also one of my other talents. Thanks to his knowledge and generosity, I'm healthier wake up with a renewed enthusiasm and starting down a career path of my dreams. Hey! You're probably thinking, it might have worked for these people, but not me. Well, this can definitely work for you. There's nothing different from you than the other people I'm working with. Um, we've got all kinds of different health problems. Definitely there are a few main ones. You might be thinking, I've been sick for so long, I can't even imagine feeling good. That's, oh, that's sad. This is really why I'm doing this, is because once you're sick for years and years and years, you just get, you just get helpless and you just get so frustrated. Have you ever felt like that? Like, oh, is this, is my, the rest of my life going to be like this? And have you ever just felt like giving up or just felt like nothing's going to work? Because I know how that feels. I was like that too. So there's still hope for you. And it's all backed up by science. It's not just hope. You're, you might be thinking this won't work on my schedule. Well, I'll tell you what. Your schedule is at the mercy of your health. If your health gets messed up, your schedule is done. I mean, look at the coronavirus, for example. People's schedules versus the virus. Who won? The health takes precedent every time. The health is the priority every time. You won't have a schedule if you're dead. 
That's, I mean, I'm half joking by saying that, but seriously though, you can't work when you're sick, so your schedule doesn't even matter. You might be thinking, what if I put forth effort and then this is another BS letdown? Does that sound, does that ring a bell for any of you? Does that, have you had that happen before with you? I had that happen for me for sure. Have you ever tried anything and then found out weeks into it that it wasn't working and then felt annoyed or felt gullible that someone tricked you into it? Well, I'm not here to trick you. Like I said, I do all this stuff myself every day, regardless of what you want to do. I'm going to be doing this my whole life because if I... <laughs> Like for me, I will, I won't live if I go back the other way. No way. Can't be like that. What if you've already tried dieting and it didn't work? Well, I tried dieting too. Have you probably tried, how many diets have you even tried? Have you tried at least five diets? I know I did. I've tried dieting. I tried gluten-free. I tried vegan. I tried vegetarian, I tried eating meat. Jabari asks, can we eat meat? The meat that is around is acid and hybrid. The animals that are being eaten are not real. They don't exist in the wild. Cows don't eat grain, naturally. Grain eating cows were invented about 500 years ago. So, that's where a lot of the health problems come from. However, there are natural types of like wild fish that are alkaline, but I don't eat because I'm vegan. And also fish is becoming polluted. Definitely don't eat fish farm. That's nasty. And I know some stuff about farm fish that's so gross that I won't even tell it because some of you might lose your lunch. You're probably thinking, healthy food is disgusting. I love eating. If you love soul food or sweets, it's okay. I have an alkaline version of fried chicken and waffles. The fried chicken is made out of mushrooms and the waffles are made out of spelt instead of wheat. So I have um, healthy versions of, or alkaline versions of everything. I, you can make sweets. Some alkaline food is super sweet. Melon, honeydew, cantaloupe, watermelon, berries, except cranberry, that's a no-no. All the other berries though are alkaline. Um, you can sweeten things with date sugar or dates or um, there are other kind of great tasting food and great tasting spices. Actually, what you'll realize is that these high pH foods taste better because they're not hybrid. Every time they hybridize something, it gets bigger and bigger and loses its taste and nutrition. So we're going backwards and going back to eating the ancient foods that are high in minerals. And those foods taste awesome. Habanero, mmm, the flavor. Agave is super sweet. Sea salt, if you like salty. Um, you can get all the different tastes. You can get sweet salty, spicy, uh, oily. I eat oily as long as it's alkaline. So you can eat really, really well. You can eat really good tasting food. You can eat good that food that fits with you. Jabari says I need that chicken and waffles diet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was eating that every day for a while. It's so good, oh man. You're probably thinking healthy food's expensive. I tried shopping healthy, but I'm on a budget. Well, actually a lot of the food 
is really inexpensive. Um, chickpeas you can eat, you can make into all kinds of things. Those are 88 cents or something for a pound. And then those are dried, you soak them, they get like five times the size. You can feed a whole family from a dollar worth of chickpeas. And they have protein for all the people brainwashed about protein, but they have a lot of iron, which is more important. So, and you, they're versatile. You can grind them into things and all, you can just soak them and boil them. But that's just, I'm just throwing one, one example out. A lot of the food that I eat is inexpensive and I don't eat at restaurants or drinking alcohol. So there's a lot of money saved right there. No, no alcohol, boom, that's most of the money people spend. And then no eating at restaurants, boom, that's another giant chunk of the money people spend. There you go, saved, you, that's how to actually save money. So ancient alkaline foods taste amazing and are affordable. That's the undeniable truth. So do you think this would work for you? Let me ask you a question. So I'm gonna transition into the next part and I have some special offers that I'm creating just for you. Now, I'm not going to hard sell you any stupid crap that you don't need or anything like that. But is it okay if I show you what I've been working on and offer you another level of service? Comment yes below. So comment now if you if you want to hear more. Okay. Okay, awesome. Okay, so this is probably pretty overwhelming for a lot of you and you might feel like your mind has been blown. If you've been feeling mind blown, it's okay. I understand who it's going to help. It will help chronic fatigue, heart problems, blood pressure, fibromyalgia, diabetes, weight loss, digestion, cancer, autoimmune problems, mental disorders, anti-aging, both women and men, helps with reproductive health, doesn't that sound good? Arthritis, back and neck pain, so many people suffer from back and neck pain, and one, me, one of them, this definitely works. Does that sound good for you? What about inflammation, infections, mucus, constipation? This will work for all of these different things, and I can explain all of that. For example, for me, with the fibromyalgia, feeling cold, chronic headaches, depression, anxiety, body aching, all of this I was going through for six years. Cognitive impairment, morning stiffness, muscular pain. Oh my God, that was the worst. Digestion problems, insomnia, weight gain. I, that, one thing I did not have is weight gain. <laughs> but dizziness, blurry vision, fatigue, light sensitivity. I had all of that other than weight gain. But this can help for sure. Again, Ariana said, Douglas has been wonderful. He's always inspiring and is extremely impassioned about getting people healthy. Thanks to his knowledge and generosity, I'm healthier, wake up every day with a nude enthusiasm, and I'm starting down a career path of my dreams. Doug was a mentor for me. He helped me change my thoughts and made my life more positive. It's all resonating very quickly. I'm better for knowing you. Aw, oh, that's sweet. So you'll be able to, with my customized coaching, you'll be able to feel energized every day, decrease painful inflammation, think clearly, sleep well, and wake up rested. Oh man, I would have given a million dollars for that years ago. Resist unhealthy cravings and enjoy your life again. 
and you'll be able to get rid of constipation, mucus, inflammation, painful inflammation. Ah, do you have inflammation? Brain fog. Oh, sure, none of us have brain fog, do we? We're all... <laughs> Skin problems, chronic fatigue, bloating, mood swings. What do you think? Can you imagine getting rid of that? If all I did was coach you to get rid of constipation, mood swings, wouldn't it be worth it? If all I did was help you get rid of chronic fatigue, would it be worth it? What would it be worth? If all I did was help you get rid of brain fog, would you love it? So who wants to get rid of all this stuff? Comment me. So, and what else do you need? Private support. I also have groups specially tailored. Two of them are free, but one of them is only for my paying clients where you're going to get every single question answered. There's less people in it, so you get more attention and you can go in there. There are other people dealing with similar problems and you can also learn a lot from what they're going through. What else do you need? Shopping lists? All right, so I've been creating shopping lists for every store around and I can create, I've already created so many of them. You can just take the shopping list and go to the store with it. Does that sound good? How does that sound? Amy said it's hard to imagine to feel better. Yeah, I've been there too. What else do you need? Recipes? It's no secret I've been working on a cookbook and have a list of about 50 recipes. I also have weekly meal plan and can customize it for your likes. So how would you like me personally customizing your meal plan? Wouldn't that take a lot of time off your hands and stress out of your life to not have to wonder what am I gonna eat or is this gonna be healthy or not? I've got that all locked in for you. What else do you need? All your future questions answered? Well, you will have lifetime access to that paid group where you'll be able to answer, I'll be able to answer all your questions, not only now, but in the future. So a few months from now, you want to take it up a level and do a water fast or or learn some breathing techniques, I can answer your questions months from now, years from now. So you will get unlimited access to that secret group. So I'm going to end on this note. If the father of medicine used, medi used herbs and plants 10,000 years ago to heal every disease known to man, then why aren't they doing the same today? And we're supposed to be advancing. Something is wrong. That's a quote from Dr. Sebi. So for the first five people who get started in my custom Alkaline Life Transformation Program, you're going to get a free week cleanse totally free week cleanse. This is some of the best stuff that I know about. Some of the best stuff. I have some other really good stuff too. You're going to get this for no cost for the first five people. So, and you know what? I can't work with that many people at a time privately. That's why I have it just five people because I'm already, I already have a couple one-on-ones that take up a lot of my time and effort. So this is, I'm only extending this to five people and then it's done. So act now before my time runs out. So how do you qualify for this custom Alkaline Life Transformation Program? Well, you must be willing to apply 
my coaching. I'm not just doing this to hear myself talk, okay? You must be committed to the process. So your health is so important. I can't reach through the screen and do it for you. You have to be committed to following through or else it's just not gonna be worth it. You must have access to capital, okay? You're probably already in one of my free groups. If you're not in the free group, join the free group. There's two of them. Join both free groups. If you don't have any money, that's what I've got for, for free. I give, I give it my all too. I give it my best, but I just can't do, you know, everything I need to do for free in a group. So that's why I can custom tailor this to you one-on-one -on -one. that way um, you have to have access to capital because it's not gonna be an arm and a leg but um, you at least have to be able to invest in yourself so you've been investing in junk food you've been investing in coffee you've been investing in alcohol you've been investing maybe in cigarettes you've been investing in birthday cakes and all kinds of stuff that hurt you slowly just stacking up all throughout the life now you have to be willing to invest in turning it around so it's not gonna it's not gonna bankrupt you or anything but you have to be willing you have to be willing to invest money where it's needed and your health is the most important thing without your health money is useless so if you're not alive, there's nothing you can do with money. It can't do, you can't buy life. This is the closest way. <laughs> this is the closest way, actually. So I've got, I can do q and I'm going to put a timer for 10 minutes, and then this is done. So ask as many questions as you can, as you need, and I will stick around answering the questions. So I know that there's a little bit of a lag, takes a minute, so are you liking this though? Does this make sense to you? Is this ringing a bell? Are you, is your mind starting to shift? Can you see yourself starting to feel better, starting to get excited? What would you do if you no longer had any fatigue? Would you go on a trip? Would you start a new hobby? Would you get back into some kind of sport or do something active? I'm curious to know what you would do. And any other kind of questions you have, ask them away. Okay, so Amy said, wouldn't an alkaline diet eventually allow you to eat some acidic foods? Well, the answer is no because those acid foods remember they're not real humans invented it it's never going to be natural you, you can't make it natural humans can't make something in a lab in a factory natural it just doesn't it just it's an oxymoron it just can't happen it just doesn't happen so um I personally choose never to stray from the list of foods because I can feel it right away. I feel bad right away. So if you want to, at the beginning when you're first getting into it, you'll probably have a cheat day and see for yourself and you'll discover the same exact thing that I did, which is acid foods make me feel terrible. Why am I, what's the point of eating it? To taste it? Just smell it if you want to, what's the point, tasting it? I don't know, it's, it's, it's just going to make you feel like crap and then you're going to have to spend time, money and effort to try to feel good again. Like if you start feeling like crap, then you're going to have to go back to the doctor then you're going to have to go get another massage, then you're going to have to detox again and it's just like, why bother? That's, that's where my mind is at. 
And that's after me being at this for a couple years. So traveling will be really hard. It's actually easier because you develop more discipline and you feel have more energy. So traveling is easier because you have more energy. As long as you are prepared, I guess preparing would, you would have to prepare, take, a, take an extra time to prepare. But on the flip side is that you'll be more prepared, which you should be doing, and you'll feel great. So what's better than feeling great? Hello, if you're just tuning in, we're in the Q&A so far, so feel free to ask questions. Ask, ask away. What's a good milk alternative? Yeah, bring your own food. So someone asked, what's a good milk alternative that tastes good? I tried Rice Dream and hated it. <laughs> so yeah, that stuff is gross. First of all, rice is acid and starchy, so it's not good for you. Um, I make my own milk alternatives, but ooh, no, there's a really good coconut milk. There's one brand of coconut milk that I go to that doesn't have any additives in it. It's, I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's Aroy D. It's from Thailand and it tastes amazing. It's very creamy and I mix it with coconut water to dilute it. It's, oh man, it's so good. It's so good. Other types of coconut milk are okay, I guess, as a replacement. But this type is so good that it's actually like, wow. It's actually good, not just, not just good as a replacement, but you know what I mean. Does this make sense to you? What about how do I start eating the correct foods? Okay, so if you haven't yet, comment below me. If you want the custom tailored transformation program built around your specific situation, I will do that for you. So I'm going to go into the comments and follow up with you. So make sure to comment me and the first five people, if you missed that slide, are going to get a free week cleanse. I'll mail it to you, no cost at all, and you'll get a free week cleanse. How's that sound? Does that sound good? I'm just trying to give you as much value as I can. And then we can talk more on the phone. We'll schedule a 15 minute phone call and dive deeper into what your challenges are specifically. So this call is just to learn more about what you're dealing with so that we can find out if this one-on-one -on -one transformation program is a good match because I don't take every client. I only take clients that I know I can help, that I think are going to get the result, and that I think are going to actually do what I teach. So comment below or in the replay if there's a link, click the link and I will reach out and we'll schedule the call and then we can go from there. So there's only two minutes left. If you have any other questions, I'm going to end it in two minutes. What is a good pH level? Great point. Great question. So alkaline is anything over 7.2. Anything basically over 7 is alkaline. Anything under 7 is acid. So a good a good level for your body is above 7. So it depends if you're testing your urine or your blood or your saliva because usually with the pH you test the liquid. So it's easy, it's quick and easy to check bodily fluid um, it sh and your pH should be above 7. It can go up to 9 naturally. That's not with any chemicals. So 9 would be good. That's what I would be shooting for, but at least above 7.
And if it's below 7, then get it above as quick as possible. All right, any other questions? What about how to fix constipation? That's a great question. Um, well, first of all, if you comment below and get in on my Alkaline Life Transformation Program, the first five people are going to get a free week-long cleanse. That's the best way to fix constipation. Other than that, I would recommend drinking a tall glass of warm water. Ginger tea is good. Just straight ginger. Add some agave to sweeten and boiling water. So you can either slice up fresh ginger or you can put a little bit like a fourth teaspoon of ginger powder but that's not as good fresh ginger is better and that will get your digestion moving uh, also like I said plenty of fluids all right looks like the time is up so I'm gonna end it there thank you guys for joining in this is your last chance to get in on the transformation program. Remember, I'm only giving those free gifts to the first five people. So comment below me and I'll reach out to you and we'll schedule a free 15-minute phone call where I can learn more about how if I can help you or not and then we can go from there. Thank you for tuning in and see you in the next training. Have an amazing day on purpose.